work out all right. It's not gonna work what I decided to do. That means bye bye engine. Tap it here and here. So now I need to screw it in. Maybe paint it. Yeah, maybe pray that it's balanced enough. That's a good one! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see it wobbling ever so slightly. But it is very close. Uh... Protection is everything. We don't want to be losing eyes, ears. <sighs> so the trigger wheel is firmly attached to the pulley. I'm very happy how it turned out. I tried to balance it, as you've seen, as much as possible. Um, in my opinion, it's as close as I can get it. It's as close as anyone can get it in a home garage without the, the balancing uh, equipment. Um, now we just need to try and put it, put it on! Right, so the next step, I need to make a bracket for crankshaft sensor, um, all sensor thing. So we have our sprocket on the thing, so the sensor needs to be about 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 mil away from the thing. So what I'm thinking, there is two unused holes here and on here. So we made a bracket for the trigger wheel sensor. It's nice and sturdy and actually fits okay. The gap between the sensor and the, the wheel is 0 0.8 mil. I'm able to space it with these uh, shims. They're 0 0.8 mil shims. Do you enjoy watching what I do? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Click that bell. Hey, there is a hole I don't actually need. So I need to fill it with something. I'm thinking aluminium, obviously, race car, lightweight. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the existing pedal and we can use it as a template. I found this sheet of aluminium. I'm gonna cut a plate and 
Look at that. Look at that. Bloody thing. So the engine is on a stand sideways. So the next step is 